Welcome from Miami, Florida. I finally made it home after two long weeks in Italy. We arrived last night. Our flight was delayed some time, so we got home around like 7, 8, and we just like went straight to bed. I've been up since 6 in the morning. I guess I'm still used to Italy's time, which I'm totally okay with because I do want to start waking up early and going to sleep earlier. So I want to run with it. The past hour, I've just been on my phone trying to delete, make space because I ran out of storage in Italy after literally deleting every single photo just to make space for the photos I would take in Italy. It is currently 8.17 and I want to start my day. I want to start cleaning. I want to start organizing, washing clothes and just putting my life back in order. Maybe go to the gym, grocery shop, cook. All of that so i did want to take you guys along for that and i also want to show you a few things that i purchased for the trip that really made my trip a lot a little bit smoother and these were purchases that i i'm glad i made so let's get into it i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys most of the things that i purchased were on shein shein is a game changer i honestly just recently started shopping on shein me and my husband before that i was an amazon shopper one of the first things i do want to show you that i got on shein that i absolutely loved and i'm sure that you've heard it if you're planning a trip to europe that you need a good bag because there are a lot of pocket picketers i don't know if that's the right word me and my husband did not experience that we didn't feel unsafe in europe i was on a hunt for a good crossbody bag and i ended up finding one on shein for ten dollars this literally fit absolutely everything this was my purse for every single day on the trip i had it towards the front of me never in the back and i had everything in there from hand sanitizer lip balm my passports my credit card my eye shades my camera the one i'm recording on right now it's literally so big but if you don't put as many things in it obviously it shrinks a little and it gets a little bit smaller but there's space for so much in here if you're looking for one i will link it up on the screen or put it on the screen somewhere this was literally ten dollars and the good thing about this bag is that it's also very cute it matches with everything it's a beige off white it looks a little darker because it is dirty and it's very comfortable another thing on shein that i got were these plastic bags these what are these called my love like ziplock bags that you push the air out okay so these are ziplock bags that you push the air out so that you can fit more things in your luggage another lifesaver i've never really used these but i use them for this trip because this is like the longest trip that i've ever taken and i made everything fit so organized amazon not amazon why do i keep saying amazon shein i believe they were like cents maybe like a dollar to get these bags i think they came in a pack of four there's some more over here we didn't even use them all but these this is how it looks you just fit it in, you squeeze the air out, and then it has like this little attachment here that you just zip it up. And you have to keep these because I made the mistake to throw them out or I, I don't know, I misplaced them. My husband, he kept them and these just make it a lot easier to close the bag. Okay, the next thing I got on Shein, I honestly made a list of things that I would need. I don't typically get this for my trips, but as I mentioned, this was the longest trip that I've gone on in a while or I think ever. I didn't want to mix my dirty underwear or my bra or my socks with all the other clothes so i did go out of my way and found a, a little laundry bag and i placed everything in there to kind of just decompartmentalize it from like the clothes although they are in bags i just didn't want my this to be roaming in my bag so again i got this on shein i believe for like a dollar another thing that's completely essential for your trip to europe is an extra battery pack this was another lifesaver. I never was out of battery throughout my trip and they were long travel days, long days. So this came in handy 100%. I obviously did not buy this on Shein. I was lent it for my dad, but I'm sure you can find these on Amazon, but I've never found such a good battery pack like the one that I use on my trip, luckily. Guys, I took my tripod. I took this tripod. This was so handy, a bit embarrassing at times, but so handy we did not have to ask anyone for photos we got the greatest photos on this tripod amazon has these essential as well i'm sure you've heard this if you've done your research about traveling to europe but the water there they charge you for it in every restaurant but i had a great idea about bringing foldable water collapsible whatever you want to call it however we didn't really use it i mainly bought it for rome because i know that there's fountains around that you can just fill it up with there were fountains in I think it was Rome or like in another city that we were in, but the water just did not taste that well. So we barely use these, but if you guys are interested, I think I got these on Amazon. It was a pack of two. I got the orange one and my husband got the black one. We ended up buying water all the time, even though we had these in our bags. We still bought the water 
we only put water from the fountain once and it just did not taste good. We felt like it was unsafe, so we didn't continue doing that. You guys, I don't know what happened to me in Europe, but it is currently, I think 2 p.m., like 1.30, 2 p.m., and I'm still cleaning. I'm being very detailed. I'm literally cleaning out my drawers, separating clothes that I wanna give away. I wash my makeup bag, like little things that I've put aside for so long. I don't know why I have the energy to do it. I just wanna organize my life and just get back into the routine, and I can't do that without having everything in its proper foundation, if that makes any sense. But look at my bathroom cabinet. It was not like this. It has not been like this and like I don't even know how long. It was not even that hard to do and it just looks so nice and organized. There is a few things that still need a place, but it looks pretty good. Let me show you. This is it. This used to be filled with so much trash, so many fake nails, anything you can think of was in this little bin. And I ended up just putting my shades in here, like some headbands. And then I have like my eyeshadows. And then just like a few random things that I really don't know where else to place, but in here. So that's it's looking good. I washed my bathroom too. It's looking really good. And then now I just wanna have all of my makeup here. This is how I took it actually for the trip. And before I put it into my makeup bag that I just literally washed, I had makeup stains, it's completely clean, looks brand new. I want to clean out my makeup brushes. just got back with our groceries I'm gonna give you a quick grocery haul we got some mandarins some bite-sized potatoes which I love we got some lettuce I've been very into ground beef and ground turkey I'm so over the chicken so we sort of stocked up on that for me so that I can make we got some cheese grapes bread some tomatoes fruit raspberries blueberries strawberries blackberries all the berries we also have some eggs, pickles, sweet potatoes, tuna, ham, cheese, yogurt, banana, some pasta. We got some Cape Cod chips and my popcorn. So now we're gonna add, oh, and then we also got some broccoli over here and some burger patties. This is how our refrigerator looks at the moment. So empty. Okay, so update. It's been honestly like a few weeks since I've been back from my trip. The first week was awesome. I had all the energy in the world. I was still adjusted to the time in Europe, so I was waking up a lot earlier. And then I kind of ran with it for as long as I could until I hit rock bottom. I got so sick. I was sick for a week. It was really bad and before my trip i even got sick as well so i need to change something like something is wrong in my body so i did get some blood drawn and i know that getting your blood taken doesn't really necessarily show you everything but it gives you somewhat of an idea and i realized that i have a high cholesterol so i believe it's like ldl cholesterol is a bad cholesterol it's at 105 when it should be at my age at 100 or less so I'm a little over that number and funny enough before getting these results I was already feeling like I needed to do some change in my nutrition I wasn't eating well I wasn't really working out I haven't been working out consistently in a few months but most importantly I think I, I just needed to change my nutrition but then when I got the results it really confirmed that for me you know when like something's happening to you like you kind of want to learn more about it because if it's not happening then you're kind of just like la 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 unless like you're really into your health but 
when it comes to me, like I was starting, I am into health, I am to work, into working out, feeling good and looking good, but I always knew, again, I needed to fix something in what I was eating, but not to the extreme that I'm doing it now. Like I'm actually doing my research, I'm learning about like saturated fat, unsaturated fat. Like there's a lot of things to it and I just wanna be educated in it so that I know what to eat, what not to eat. So I've been doing my research and I've also been looking up like meal plans, not meal plans for me to create, not for me to buy. Healthy snacks, healthy meals, healthy dinners. So I do need to stop eating carbs. I do need to stop eating pasta and bread and bacon and all of the greasiness of the food because that's one thing they did tell me that I I need to decrease my fried intake. Dairy is another thing, so I'm switching whole milk to almond milk. Earlier this year, I said I wanted to transition my page into more health, and it kind of just stayed as like as it was before. I need to take it seriously. Like I've been wanting to take it seriously, but because of these results, I'm just like, yeah, like I, I need to put actions behind my words now. So I just got back from Walmart, and obviously this is like a learning curve it's a process it's not something you learn overnight so i'm just taking like small steps i'm doing my part and i got some things at walmart because i want to find healthy snacks that i can snack on because i am a snacker so i got some chickpeas i'll show you now yeah i got some chickpeas that i could eat with these carrots as a healthy snack i want to create this recipe with these oats it's a cookie a healthy cookie oat recipe that i want to do so i got this big pack also i want to start eating more oatmeal in the morning with some apples which is what i got there i'm not much of a coffee drinker i'm more of a tea gal but i'm going to transition more to matcha because i know matcha is really healthy for you and when i would drink tea I'm not proud to say it but i love heavy whipping cream it's so creamy and rich and good i would put a whole bunch into my tea and i think obviously that has dairy it has a lot of oils a lot of grease so i need to transition out from that so i'm gonna go into matcha and then with my almond milk i've also been really into chocolate so i got my almond milk chocolate i don't know how i will feel with chocolate almond milk and matcha but have to make it work and then i also got some more tomatoes some ground chicken and these are just like small little things because of there's like a few recipes that i want to create it's 6 42 it's sunday and i'm gonna start just prepping some things for this upcoming week tree in their backyard so we actually brought home a few so I'm gonna cut into this right now and see if it's ready to be eaten oh my god that is beautiful very beautiful wow 